What is up guys, it's Fixin' Family here and today we are doing a phone lot unboxing. So yeah guys, I have six phones here. I bought this lot off of eBay for around $60. Um, these are all untested. And uh, so yeah, let's see what we get. I did already open the box as I didn't know what this was when it came in. And then when I realized, oh shoot, there's a bunch of phones in here. I turned on my camera almost immediately. So let's get started. So first phone we have, we have a either an iPhone X or an XS. Pretty beat up. Hopefully that's the good one of the lot. We could save that guy. Next phone we have is this uh, LG. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, let's see if it has any power. Oh, it does. Cool. Next phone we have. Oh yeah, this is going to be the next hopefully good one of the lot. This one is a Galaxy Note 9. Let's see if it has any juice in it. All right, this has juice in it too. Sick. Oh, and the screen looks like it might be good underneath too. That might be an extra score. Next phone we have here. This one powers on. It's on the setup screen, so I'm gonna have to set this guy up. Uh, next phone we have here is this ZTE. It's massive and man is it bent, so I don't know if this will be saveable, let alone even worth it to save. Okay, put that off to the side. Just plugging phones in now. There we go. Next phone we have here is a, all right. We have a S7 Edge. This is actually a really cool color. The screen looks to be in great shape. The back is cracked though, but the screen looks to be in good shape. Let's see if we have any power. Nope, no power at all. Put that guy to the side. We also have our LG all set up now. It works perfectly fine and it isn't locked. It is on T-Mobile. Um, this is a very weak phone, so not really worth doing a whole lot with. Uh, now the Samsung we have here sadly does have a line in the screen and it does have some shadowing. But other than that, it seems to be fully functional and working, uh, except that it's blacklisted with T-Mobile. So. That's a big bummer, but oh well, it's still still a pretty nice phone and it still can be used. All right, let's keep going. Next thing we have here. We have a iPod. I'm right. My brain's not working today. Um, I think this is a Nano iPod Nano, uh, let's see, got any life here, nope, no life, so we'll plug this guy in, uh, second to last phone we have here, we have a pink, oh, a pink iPhone 5C, let's see if this guy, oh, this guy has power, cool, Put that to the side and let that load. And looks to be the last phone in here. We have a blue iPhone 5C. Oh, this thing is pretty, pretty grungy. It's like they dipped it in ink or something. Does this guy have any power? No, it does not. Okay, so let's go ahead. That's all the phones. Let's get on to the testing stage. All right, so I got this 5C to power on. It seems to be fully functional with no iCloud. 
and it also has so it's a 16 gigabyte on ios 10.3.3 so nothing too special but it is fully functional uh next thing we have going here i have this samsung we'll plug this guy in this guy is really nice i like this phone um the charge port didn't plug in very well so that might be saying something's wrong with that and we'll also plug in this blue 5c i also have another block over um on my other wall so i'll go ahead and plug in this nano also quick news and update on the ipod it does work perfectly um i don't know about the battery yet normally these do have a big battery problem where the battery expands and it wrecks the screen but so far i'm not really seeing that it is in kind of rough condition but it does work um it is a i think it's a eight it's an eight gigabyte model and uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let it charge and hopefully the battery will stay charged all right guys so i have my little meter here since you can't see the wall i'm gonna just have them plugged into the meter so this 5c does take a charge but we're not getting anything on the screen so we're gonna go ahead and tear this guy apart um, probably either needs a new screen or a new battery and then for this uh, Samsung we have here this Samsung is showing no signs of life at all so I'm guessing the charging port's bad so we're gonna go ahead we're probably gonna tear this guy apart too and I'll see what I could do I don't have I don't think I have a charging port on hand so this might have to be another video in itself um, next thing we have almost forgot about this guy we have this iPhone X um, I've been letting it do its thing and charge for a while now but I think this charging port's also dead as see nothing comes up on the uh, thing so I don't think I have any X batteries charged up right now and yes I did check the IMEI it is an X sadly it is iCloud locked um, but we're gonna try and see if we can revive this so I think the charging port's dead. I might have a charging port. I have to look and tear that apart and uh, I'll up to you, update you guys on that. This guy, the ZTE, does function. Uh, the screen is just obliterated and these things aren't really worth anything. So this is probably just gonna get thrown in another lot and I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably part it out or something or see if I get another one of these with a good screen down the line. But other than that, so far we have the pink 5C, we have this LG, and we have the Note 9 that all do power on and work. So I will go ahead and do uh, a teardown on this 5C first, as this is iCloud off, and uh, we'll work with that first. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started on this 5C. Now, I'm pretty sure the screen's out on it, but I could be wrong. It is already missing a screw, so that's not a great sign. And I went ahead and just slapped a new screen on here that I had laying around and I just plugged it in without a battery and I got the Apple logo to show up. So that screen is definitely bad on the old one. So let's go ahead, let's finish cleaning up this adhesive. I have a new battery here and we're gonna finish this all up. All right guys, we're back. So with that iPhone 5C that I was just repairing, has some really intermittent issues. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a motherboard problem, uh, which really sucks because it's iCloud off and it was on a rare iOS, 
what pretty much happened was I put the new screen on there and it didn't want to function at all. I put two more screens on there and it still didn't want to work. But I went and put the other screen, the old screen back on and it turned back on and only worked for a couple minutes, then went black and pretty much died. Uh, I went ahead, I changed out the uh, housing because the ink was just getting everywhere and it was just coming out of everywhere. Um, I'm not sure what's up with it. I'm gonna keep working on it. As for the other phones, pretty much from the start, that's what keeps, that's what's still working. The iPhone X, I haven't been able to mess with as I don't have any parts for. So hopefully that will be in another video. Uh, apart from that, we're walking away with the Samsung Note 9, the iPod working, uh, that pink iPhone 5C, and we have the uh, the LG that works. Other than that, the ZTE is probably not worth fixing. The Samsung is going to be another video. I had some stuff go on with that, so you guys will see that. The iPhone X might be another video, might not be. It's probably not going to be worth it as the iCloud is on. So overall, for $60, it's an okay lot. I didn't get the best of stuff, but at the same time, I didn't get super bad. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you're new. Did you know only 6% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed? So please subscribe. It helps me out with the algorithm and uh, trying to grow my channel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.